Hi everyone and welcome to All TV Art. This is the YouTube channel for virtual reality art, virtual reality meditation, any sort of application that is non-gaming that's trying to yeah, give us a new view of what it means to be human. So in this episode, we're going to take a look at the piece of virtual reality art, or it's rather reality art, but it's presented through virtual reality. So um, we're going to take a look at the artist Roan. Now, this is a mini documentary which shows his art uh, in a virtual reality installation as well as a 360 degree video. Now, virtual reality is really a fantastic medium to convey this art because I, I had seen it before in flat images and sort of um, the 2D versions. And it didn't give the same feeling because his particular way of painting is using architecture and using space and at least size which you sort of can't really experience on a normal uh, 2D screen. So let's take a look at Roan. Beauty and decay is a thread that runs through much of Roan's work. His work on the street began in 2001 as stencils and later transitioned into huge paste-ups that dotted his home city of Melbourne. Over time, these paste-ups would deteriorate and this look of decay was an inspiration in his later aesthetic. Over time, Roan began painting directly onto walls and canvases. Embracing the look of decay, Roan employed a technique of spraying water onto his works as he painted, creating the decay drip effect synonymous with Roan's work. Roan has gone from illegal street artist to muralist in high demand internationally, a constant traveler Roan's distinctive female muses have followed him around the world and they can be found in various states of decay, peering out from beneath overpasses and emblazoned on walls everywhere from New York, Paris, Tokyo, London and Havana. These days, Roan's work is found as often in galleries as it is on the streets. I'm really attracted to these spaces that are on the edge or on the brink of like falling apart and the idea of mixing the beauty and the decay together is I find such an interesting juxtaposition. I moved to Melbourne in 2001 and as soon as I got here I just fell in love with all the stencils and stickers I saw on the street and just fell into that street art scene. I started painting portraits of women in reaction to what a lot of other artists were doing on the street at the time, which was graffiti and street art was very masculine and aggressive and I wanted to do the, the polar opposite of that and I found out very quickly that the, the calming beauty that I was painting you know, spoke as loudly, if not louder, than the other aggressive stuff that was being put up on the street. The women I work with um, models that I photograph to create a, a series of reference images that I then work from. But the images I try and paint are trying to capture this very fine emotion. And it's not so much about painting a, a portrait, it's more about a representation of emotion. Um, at some point I started uh, exploring these abandoned spaces, I'd have to climb through broken windows or cut a hole in a fence or unpry a door just to get into the space. 
when you walk into a space that's been abandoned and you automatically start trying to piece together why has this space been emptied. There's this strange sense of there was humanity in this space and now it's gone. And me trying to paint a, a person back into that, you know, trying to bring that human element back into that space or that world. I was looking for a space to have an exhibition. The space I found in the end was a giant silent movie theatre right in the, the heart of Melbourne. It's been empty for quite a few years now and it looks like they, they're going to knock it down and put up uh, another block of apartments. So I took it as an opportunity to make use of this amazing space one last time before it goes. To go back to what that space originally was, was a, a movie theatre, you know, it was a place of excitement and drama and it kind of brought that energy back into that space, you know, it had been so sad and forgotten about for so long and when there was like thousands of people in there, it's like, it had that energy again and that was amazing to feel that and to have people to come into a space or see a space and have a connection with it. People told me that it almost felt like spiritual. People just walk in off the street and just like, what's this? And then be intrigued. And then a lot of people would have a story or like whether it was like, I didn't even know this place existed and I've been here for X amount of years. And then be, you know, a bit horrified to know that it's all about to be demolished as well. And like someone who have, you know, no connection with the space and then just realize like, I've lost something I never knew I even had. The latest one is a, a giant industrial site that um, is all about to be demolished and turned into a new property development. The paper mill has just got decades and decades of decay of pulp that's built up on the walls or the dust and just the layers and textures are just something that's organically grown inside these factories. And for me, it was about trying to work with that and try and put something very delicate and feminine over these very raw and industrial surfaces. I feel that like a lot of my work was a lot more two-dimensional, whereas now I'm working in these real 3D environments where I can actually scratch a wall and that becomes part of the final artwork. And, you know, it's not just the one wall in the background, it's like everything that's placed in front of it and the whole scene and the environment and the light. And it allows me to like set a, a whole scene now I hope my work makes people realise what we're sometimes losing and, you know, it's maybe often like a bit of a send-off or a reminder of what we are about to lose.
All right, everyone, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for sticking with us here. And um, yeah, if you like, please like the video and subscribe to the channel so that we'll see each other again. Thank you.